let's look at the proof of the sum of a geometric series. So the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series is given by Sn which equals to a brackets 1 minus r to the power of n all over 1 minus r where r cannot equal to 1 since the denominator would then equal to 0 and this would not exist. Now for the proof we're trying to work out the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series which we'll call Sn and so we'll write out some of the terms in this series. So the first term we represent as a and now we multiply each of the terms by a common ratio which in this case we'll call r. So to get the next term, we have a times r, which is a r. And since this is a sum, we're going to add this on. And now if we want to work out the next term after this, we do a r times r, which gives us a r squared. And now carrying this on, we end up with a r cubed plus a r to the power of four plus a r to the power of five. And now we'll write an ellipse to indicate that there are terms in between. And then writing out some of the last few terms, we have a r, to the power of n minus 3 plus a r to the power of n minus 2 plus a r to the power of n minus 1. And to help us spot this pattern, we can see that a is the first term and then a r is the second term, a r squared is the third term, a r cubed is the fourth term and so on. Now if we think about the position and the power of r, there is a nice relationship that we can see. So for the second term, the power of r here is 1. For the third term, the power of r here is 2. For the fourth term, the power is 3. For the fifth term, the power is 4, and so on. So we can see that whatever position we have, if we subtract 1 from it, we end up with the power of r. And so if the power of r here is n minus 3, then this must be the n minus second term. Because if we add 1 to n minus 3, we get n minus 3 plus 1, which is n minus 2. And then likewise, this is the n minus 1th term. And then finally, we have the nth term here. We know that there are n terms in total for this geometric series. We're now going to take this sum, Sn, and we're going to multiply this by r. And if we do that, we get the following. So every single term gets multiplied by r, and so a times r gives us a r, and then a r times r is a r squared, and then we have plus a r squared times r, which is a r cubed. Now carrying this on, we end up with a r to the power of 4, plus a r to the power of 5, plus a r to the power of 6, plus, and now we'll add on an ellipse, and then we have a r to the power of n minus 3, if we times this by r, then we need to add 1 to the power. So n minus 3 plus 1 gives us n minus 2. And so we get a r to the power of n minus 2. And then likewise here, we end up with a r to the power of n minus 1. Because n minus 2 plus 1 gives us n minus 1. And then lastly, we have plus a r to the power of n. Because n minus 1 plus 1 gives us n. Now if we take away these sums from each other, on the left hand side we end up with Sn minus R times Sn which equals to AR minus AR cancels. We also have AR squared minus AR squared so that cancels. Likewise AR cubed cancels with AR cubed here. AR to the power of 4 cancels with AR to the power of 4 here and this repeats. So AR to the power of 5 cancels here. The next term would be a r to the power of 6, which would cancel with this term here. And then we see that a r to the power of n minus 3, there would be a term before this one that would be a r to the power of n minus 3. And so that would cancel. a r to the power of n minus 2 cancels with this term. a r to the power of n minus 1 cancels with this term here. And so finally, we are left with a minus a r to the power of n. And so on the left hand side, we can factorize s n out which gives us Sn brackets 1 minus R. And then on the right hand side, we can factorize an A out, which gives us A brackets 1 minus R to the power of N. And so finally, if we divide both sides by this bracket here, we end up with Sn, which equals to A brackets 1 minus R to the power of N all over 1 minus R. And this division is only valid if R does not equal to 1 because if r does equal to 1, then the denominator is 0, and we cannot divide by 0 because it is undefined. Also worth noting that this sum can be written as Sn equals to a brackets r to the power of n minus 1 all over r minus 1, where r cannot equal to 1. And we get this by either multiplying this formula by minus 1 in both the numerator and denominator, or when we took away the sums here, we could do the second sum minus the first sum instead of what we did here. 
and this would then result in this formula. The first formula is used for when the modulus of r is less than 1 and the second formula is used for when the modulus of r is greater than 1. It allows us to work with positives where possible. And that is the proof of the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series.